Alright guys, so today I am talking about human discoveries and what we have not discovered. So, really, God's made a lot of stuff for us to discover, we just haven't got to it yet. Uh, well, like we said, 71% of the world is under salt water. Most of that has not been discovered, that's why it's, most of it's not in our history, but or in our books and stuff, like we've been discussing in the past few weeks. The, uh, I'm going to be talking about specifically the Marina Trench and how much we've discovered of it. So, the Marina Trench is 36,070 feet long approximately, and it is over 6.8 miles deep. So, right here we have, you see, you know, the top of the ocean, and then we have, you know, ordinary fish. I'll even throw in a shark for you. All right. Oh, and a Jesus fish. Can't forget the Jesus fish. All right. So right here we have the Marina Trench, and then all right. Inside of here is the Marina Trench. All right. Uh, it is approximately 6.8 miles deep, like I have mentioned. So we're just gonna label that right there. Most human has ever discovered is approximately 35,700 feet. That was just going down by uh, one man. Now, all, after you get to a certain point, after you're going that deep in water, uh, you uh, your lights don't really work as well. They're not going to sp spread out like they usually do. Uh, so really, you're only going to see, say this is the submarine, you're only going to see about that far. Well, and if you were out of the water, you'd probably see about that far. Uh, that's a lot more. So, sorry, sir. So, that's how much we've discovered. Now, again, when we discovered this, we just went straight down, and we went all the way down, stopped at about right here. The bottom of Marina Trench is approximately right here. Of course, it has little divots and stuff. So, we still had all this stuff to discover, and all of this to discover. All we did was go down, and then we went back up. So, that explain that. That's one submarine, because the Marina Trench is also... Our so that's 400 feet away. The Marina Trench is... Uh, did I not write that down? Oh, alright. Alright, uh... Marina Trench is also over 1,500 miles long, so that's 1,500 miles long. That's really long, so you got you can go all the way down there and you still don't reach the end. So going deep, it's pretty deep, but going long is real long. So we just went down one little submarine that's probably about, I don't know, like 10 feet or something. It's real small. So we still got like 1,500 miles to get to, and then... It's also 43 miles wide, so right here is 43 miles. And then going down this way, like I said, is 1,500 miles. That's all stuff we have time to explore, but we just didn't do it. Uh, of course, we're still coming up with stuff to go all the way down to the bottom, go around. I'd say the number one thing that we're having problems with is our lights. We can't see down there, so it's just making it really hard to... All we're seeing is just stuff right in front of our face. We can't see around us. If you were to do that out of water and land, like, if I were just... if you, It's like just doing this in a Libyan middle of the sea to about right here. You don't see that much. Now clear. Alright. And some spray. Water spray. Works perfect. Alright. So... Now, some more common discoveries that people think of are Megalodons. Now, Megalodons, uh, uh, some people believe in them, some people don't. I believe that God created dinosaurs and we haven't discovered everything, so we can't be 100% sure they're not there. They could still be in the Marine Trench and all the stuff over here that we have not seen. Now, saying that to you can get deeper, no pun intended, you can get deeper and the problem is down there is that they have gills, their gills are not made to withstand really hard water pressure. The better thing is, is that they have their gills right here and then they have all this skin right here to protect them if they're that big. So you have all this stuff protecting your gills but you still have gills, that's the problem. 
So, being said, let's say they can withstand that. Then, what they need to worry about is food. Now, food uh, is a problem because there's not much stuff that can live down there. If anything, the only stuff that can probably live down there that we've seen is some crazy fish that are real small and some microorganisms and bacteria. They can't really live off that when they're 59 feet long. Um, now, also, like I said, we have not discovered anything down there, so there could always be, you know, like monster squid or something, you know, or or a giant or giant jellyfish. Oh, we just haven't discovered that. Now, I don't want to get too deep into that because that's not all this is about. What I'm saying is that there's so much stuff we have not discovered yet. What I think, what I think is cool though, is that we have all the stuff in Marine Trench that we have not discovered yet. What's cool about that is that there could be stuff living that we haven't discovered. Thousands of species. Uh, there could be millions of species. Possibly. So, all that being said, I'd like to give you my conclusion that human... Yeah, I don't think so. And with the little more power of TV, our board is now erased. Now, I'm going to head on to things besides fish, like land animals. Land animals have been discovered. Now, evolution tries to say that since we discover a new species of animals on land whatsoever every second, I don't care, um, they say that it's evolution. Now, what we have not seen about evolution is that, excuse me, just how we have not discovered most of uh, the ocean, we have not discovered most of the land. That is my bonus fact right here. Uh, believe it or not, there are still islands that have not been discovered because the water went down. There could be prehistoric stuff, I don't know. Uh, there could be some more stuff than that. What I'm saying is that there's, instead of jumping to conclusions and saying evolution has created all these animals we haven't discovered yet, let's just assume that we aren't the smartest things in the world. Let me think about that one again. Let's just not assume that we are the smartest things. I'm just going to cut that part out. Alright. Let's just not assume that we know everything like God. Yeah, that's better. Um, for instance, we have no scientific evidence of evolution happening. We can have a fact every now and then about something happening that can relate to that, but then you just got to make something new in evolution. Uh, Again, you would have the water, and then you have a nice island right here with the palm tree. Uh, so, like I said, some of these could be here forever, and some of them could just go down because the tide went down for a day, this one builds, and then it goes back up. Global warming also has an effect on this. They said the tides are dropping. They've only dropped like two inches over like the past eight billion years. Got you there. No, they've only dropped like one or two inches over the past hundred years. So, uh... So, really, these little dudes have been here for quite a while, so to say that just evolution created them forever, that's not what that means. Thank you for listening to my presentation. One more thing. There are other sea creatures that we have discovered, like my hermit crabs. And land hermit crabs. So, that is a good example of creatures that live on land and in water, but are the same species. Like, land hermit crabs, water hermit crabs. Bye.